Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 373. That is, what is system integration testing? Let me answer. So what is system integration testing? Before I explain what exactly is system integration testing, let me first explain what is system testing. System testing is generally performed on the integrated software as a whole. The whole components of the software are integrated together to become a complete software. To com a whole software is created by integration, guys. If you are testing that wholly integrated software, the complete software if you are testing, that is called a system testing. This is a third level of software testing, guys, where all the components of the software are integrated and the complete software is created. The software is tested as a whole. That is system testing. But there is system integration testing also. I can categorize, okay? System integration testing into two types. One is pre-system integration testing. Other one is post-system integration testing. Pre-system integration testing or pre-ST is like pre-system testing or post-system testing you can call, okay? Is nothing but the testing which is performed before the system testing is pre-system integration testing. The testing which is performed the integration testing, the system integration testing, which is performed after the system testing is called as post system integration testing. Okay, the system integration testing, I'm categorizing into two types, pre-sit and post-sit. Pre-sit means pre-system integration testing, which is performed before the system testing, before testing the complete software as a whole. After the integration of all the components of the software uh, to make the software as a whole and then tested, right? That is system testing, I already told you. Okay, after, before the system testing is performed, if you are performing the system integration testing that is called as pre-sit performed before the system testing. After the system testing is done, after the completely integrated software as a whole is tested, okay, after system testing is performed, if you are performing a system integration testing, that is post-system integration testing. So what is pre-sit and post-sit? Okay, let me explain in detail. Coming to the pre-sit, guys, pre-system integration testing is while system integration testing will be performed between different components of the system, while we are integrating them together, okay? Different components means different units. You can say unit level codes, okay? So it may be the second level, guys, okay? Pre-seat is like a second level of software. Uh, you can also call that as an integration testing, okay? There are different approaches in integration testing like uh, uh, top-down integration testing approach, bottom-up integration testing approach, sandwich integration testing approach, big bang integration testing approach. Using any of these integration approaches, we integrate the different components of the system Okay, while we are integrating the different components of the logically groupable components of the system in using any of these approaches like top down, bottom up, sandwich, or big bang, if you are performing the testing, that is called as pre seat. This integration testing is performed before the system testing. Okay, okay, this pre seat is nothing but testing the integration of different components of the system while the different components of the system are getting integrated if you are testing. Okay, using any of the approaches like already told you, right? Top down, bottom up, sandwich and big bang. That is called as pre-system integration testing. And there is another integration, system integration testing known as post-system integration testing, which is generally performed after the system testing. After the third level of software testing, it is generally performed, guys. So the main intention why we perform this post sit after the system testing is to check whether our whole system, okay? After system, in system testing, you are testing the system as a whole. As a, as a whole, the system is working, but this whole system is integrating with other external systems or not, okay? If there is something where our software need to interact with other external software, our software, maybe our software is e-commerce software, has to integrate with other banking, net banking software or something. That checking external integration of our whole system with other external system, that integration if you are testing is post-system integration testing, which is generally performed after the system testing. So hope guys, you got an idea what exactly is system integration testing. If someone asks you what is system integration testing, first explain what is system testing and uh, then explain pre-sit and post-sit, two types of system integration testing. So in a lot of websites, uh, they either explain pre-system integration testing. In some websites, they will explain post-system integration testing. Now you just combinedly explain so that they can understand like uh, what's your knowledge levels and all. Okay, so hope guys, you understood what is system integration testing. Hope you got the answer for this question in this session. So that's all for this session. The next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.